Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, I just thought I would try and do a quick little room tour. The lovely Mel from Mellis Makes said she'd like to have a look. And when I did my last one a few years ago, I said, oh, I'm not doing it anymore. But anyway, I'm not going to go through all the drawers because it would just take hours. But this is coming in the door. I've not tidied anything up. I don't, I can't see the point of that. This is how it is. Uh, my big shot is down there. You can't quite see it. Can't shut the room door. That's like one of them wall pocket holder things that I have all sorts of stuff in. There's alcohol inks and um, well, different inks and whoops, pearl drop thingies and brushes and all sorts there. This is where, this is the drawers, this is my desk and this is the drawers with my thing on where I film. I hope I'm going slow enough. That dress form thing there has all little bits and bobs on that I've had very generously gifted me. My scissors look, do you think I've got enough scissors? <laughs> Paint brushes, my desk, just how I left it last night. So I was doing a few more of the prints and I've gutted one magazine. So pleased about that. Haven't changed the date. Right. I, yeah, I'm going to struggle because the room is so tiny and I've got all stuff on the floor. You can probably hear me. <laughs> There's all sorts in the drawers, can't even remember, but um, Cosmic Shimmers, there's some Happy Mails in the bottom. There's paints and stuff in this one, inks and stuff in that one, and feathers and wooden pieces. Under there, there's sequins and seed beads and oh, envelopes, that sort of thing, used envelopes, there's paints and that in there. In the bottom ones, there's cards. I am really not organised. <laughs> and up there we've got, this is just what I keep, ATCs that I'm doing or I've done and bits of rubbish and a little rubbish bin, not rubbish, but bits of paper and crap. <laughs> There's paints there, some of those paints I've had for years, like these ones at the back. I'm going to try and get them used up to make way for other paints coming in. Uh, as you can see, I'm well equipped with drawers now. Uh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's so good. It's the best thing we ever did was get these drawers um oh there's all sorts of stuff in there so i can't pens and stuff in that one and then i've got washi tapes down there somewhere and bits and bobs of things that people have sent me and there i've got lots of fabrics and ribbons and things up on the top shelf and what's up there? Cards, does it say? Or oh, birthday cards and stuff in those boxes on the end. That picture up there. It's what my daughter did at school years ago. That's my little grandson when he was a baby and he's 25 now. Glues and stuff on that shelf there. My paper's up there. That bit over there is some flowish journals in the making. More glues there, my printer. As you could see, I have to, if I want to look at the little screen thing, I have to lift those things off, but most of the time I don't. It just pulls, this piece here just pulls down. So it's, okay, bits, loads of junk up there. That little thing with D on there is what my granddaughter made me and the one next to it, that's what I did. It's all bits and bobs to alter, gilding flakes and then coming down here, <coughs> excuse me, um, well there's all sorts of techniques of things that I've done there, painty papers and my textured wallpapers for jelly printing, all in these folders, that's all painty papers 
and more painty papers and <laughs> probably more painty papers at the back there. I know at the back of there there's a load of uh, sheet music paper. That crocheted bag there that I did a few years ago has got, what's it say on it? Oh, avocado and tea dyed fabric and doilies and stuff. And then at, right at the back there, there's like a bit of a wasted corner, but it has all like, well, has had, I've tidied it out again, bits and bobs to save, to, to alter, you know how we do, that never get altered. Then those bags there, I think there's three bags of christmas stuff well i don't really do christmas so why i've got christmas stuff i don't know but i do occasionally there's my little one of my little lines that i have to hang my papers on right we'll just go so down here i've got a just it's just a veg trolley that i think we got from b m or somewhere for Eight, nine could have been ten pounds because I wasn't going to pay twenty five pounds for a hobby craft pretty one. So that does me fine. In fact, I've got two in here. The red box is at the bottom, though. There's my little steps to get up on the shelf. Uh, red box is at the bottom. I've got all two altar stuff in that I never seem to do. That's my box of stamps. I've got to have all my stamps in folders i've shown those before and then i've got inks and sprays and that sort of thing gessos that sort of thing all down there that i can't show you because i can't really get to it is more painty papers there's my square punch board thingy there and then <laughs> and it, it's always like this <laughs> Because I just don't have any more room. All under there somewhere is my four boxes up with dies in magnetic things. Um, we've got stationery and stuff and fab uh, trims, fabric trims and laces all in these ones. And oh dear, I don't know what a jumble, eh? but I love it. I do love it. More sprays, fabric sprays and stuff. Buttons and things in the back. Banners all up there. Beautiful banners. Uh, buttons, buttons, buttons. All sorts of bits and bobs in there. These are like, I'll throw it in there sort of thing. <laughs> bits that I've done. Those, those um, ephemera folders. I wondered where I put those. Oh, there's Ursula up there. Look, Ursula, my unicorn that my sister-in-law kindly bought me. Yeah, it's a pocket thingy that I made a few years ago with the cuffs off of rubber gloves. I, did, I can't remember whether I actually showed making it, but I mm, don't know. I and these two albums I've shown those before they've got painted papers in one's got painted papers and the other is um, just dendritic prints so these sort of drawers have got different paints and watercolours that sort of thing in one of the drawers I keep my jelly plates in uh, and uh, all my drawers, a lot of the drawers still need tidying out. And there's punches and things in these. And um, down there somewhere, there's beads, homemade beads and uh, clay pieces, that sort of thing. Wax and my wax seals, wax pellets and that. And there's more bags down. Oh, the bag down there has got a lot of my watercolour pad and pads and mixed media pads and that sort of thing in and these bags that you pick up for 60 pence from Tesco are absolutely brilliant um, some of my Vogue magazines there that we picked up at the weekend can't see what that one's got in but painty papers I think that I've done oh, well, when I did the alcohol things a while ago and oh, we've got another trolley and this one's got like pens just in tins and um, some of the Bombay, the Bombay inks that I bought a while ago that um, CJ Colorado Blue Skies 
sent me some money thank you very much and i bought some bombay inks and then at the bottom there they uh i can't think what they're called other inks of the dr martin's inks but i can't think what they are these are the some vogue bits that you've seen me do oh on this chair these are the ones that i'll just show you these briefly did these last night these didn't all come out i did do a couple to put up on tiktok last night uh, that one was quite good that one was a lovely image but i'd put too much black paint on it was of i can't remember now whether it was a gentleman there but i can't remember whether that was a lady or a gentleman anyway it didn't come out very well that one was a beautiful image that's paloma faith and i obviously didn't quite press hard enough to get the ink on her face so i was a bit disappointed with that that one's nice use some punchinella on that that one's nice and that one's nice and that one would have been better if I pressed down a little bit harder and rubbed that bit of black paint off. But anyway, oh, and there's a great big piece of, <laughs> just, oh, I can't show you. The other side, oh, you can see it there. The other side, I had it for like um, a drop sheet when I was doing the painty papers. And it's just packaging paper. I thought I would use some of that up. Right, so where did we get to? Up there wallpapers samples that big box up there was what i kept when i was doing my paper bead rolling a couple of years ago don't think it was last year might have been can't remember um these folders have got all sorts of shall we say ephemera but leaflets and stuff that i put in flowish journals all sorts of things in there and then there's some of my big sheets off. It's making me good buzz eyed looking through here. Big sheets of paper, masterboard thingy and tea where I'd use tea bags. I have shown them before. That's the one I showed you the other week of the baby wipes. They're all my 12 by 12 papers that I hardly ever use and that's that can't think what it's called ultimate scoreboard or something like that i've hardly ever used that because i don't know what to do with it and i've never seen anybody use it my clock up there look at that beautiful clock that mr doodle made me because i was born in london lived in london till i was nine and um yeah so he made me that clock. And then here we have two little units that Mr. Doodle got me. These wooden ones. Somebody gave them to him, I think. Oh, God, I'm going really buzz eyed. That have got all little knickknacks that people have sent me. Same on there. Some little bits of my sea glass there. And that jar is full of sea glass and little bits of pottery that I've found. But the rest of it, that spool there, I've found it and it's going out to someone. When I get round to, I've got I'm going to have to make a little happy mail parcel up because it won't go through the large letter slot. So I need to make a bit more of a bigger happy mail parcel up for that person. Uh, these drawers, top ones have all got beads. Beads and... All sorts of things in those. These will come open easily. All sorts of beads and that sort of thing. And napkins. There's a few drawers down there that I've recently emptied. Oh, and one of them has got my gyrocut tool in. And that is about it. <laughs> and that's took me 15 minutes. Sorry about that. <laughs> But there's so much you can imagine if I pulled every drawer out, we would literally would be here forever. But yeah, I, I love my little craft room or oh, my salad spinner there. Look, love my little craft room. And although I'm still, I'm never, it's never going to be sorted because I won't put labels on. I don't, 
yeah. When I first got these drawers, I can't remember who it was. Somebody says, oh, you're going to need to put labels on. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't do labels. It would really bug me having labels on. And not only that, I like to, if I'm looking for something, oh, I wonder where I've put that. It's just fun looking through all the drawers and finding other stuff that you'd forgotten about. And then having a, a little bit of a tidy again along the way. But I can't can't be doing with labels. I know this would drive some people mad not knowing, but it's we all do it to our own suiting, don't we? But yes, that's my little craft room, Mel, and for anybody else that has been interested. Um, I really, I've been going ever so slowly, but I, I hope it's not blurry. But it's a tiny little room. It's about 8 foot by 10 foot. But it's lovely. It suits me. Uh you know, started off on like most of us do at the kitchen table and it's evolved into this in however many years I've been crafting. I can't can't think when I first had this room as a craft room at least I don't know, ten years probably, eight, nine years, I don't know. I'd have to look back at my first videos, but then I've deleted a lot of my first videos because they're absolutely rubbish. The quality when I used to use my, a USB cam on my laptop, oh god, they're just looking back at them now, they're all pixelated, they're awful. So I'm gradually deleting all of those. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that little tall this is my crafty space i say it doesn't never gets any tidier than this it gets a lot messier but i haven't tidied anything up it's just has i left it has has i left it as i left it last night so and i'm gonna have another play with my jelly plate i think okay then have a lovely weekend everyone take care and i'll speak to you soon bye